last week on Clarksville Fat to Fit. Three years ago, I cut out pop for good. Um, I went from drinking probably a 12-pack a day to nothing. I went to fast food this morning, and I didn't get myself fast food. My whole family got Sonic, but I ate strawberries and bananas, and they were good. <laughs> it's not just about eating. It's not just about not exercising. It's not just about, well, I don't have time. It's not about the excuses. As soon as you post this on Facebook, all of the kids from Clarksville Basketball League, now they get to put their camera on me. And, uh, I'm going to do it. Uh, with, with or without Fat to Fit, I'm going there. I'm on my way. I've always been bigger than I'm supposed to be. Like when I was younger, I don't know if she'll like me saying this, but mom actually made my jeans. Tonight, the first official title boxing club workout and our starting weigh-in at Marathon Chiropractic. Plus, our contestants talk about their first big week as they begin their journey from fat to fit. When it comes to building a weight loss plan, nothing is more critical to your success than knowing your starting statistics. Weight, body mass index, fat percentage. With Clarksville Fat to Fit, we're looking at everything. Because good health isn't about being thin, it's about being fit. We visited Marathon Chiropractic to get all of our stats in black and white. These are the numbers we were waiting for, and we didn't like them one bit. Mary Beth weighed in at 224.6 pounds, a BMI of 36.3, and a fat percentage of 46.9. 313.6 pounds. Next up is Coach Shedd, who weighed in at 313.6 pounds, a BMI of 42.5, and a fat percentage of 35.6. How tall are you? Five, ten and a half. Teddy Bigger weighed in at 256 pounds, a BMI of 36.2. His body fat percentage is 32.8. The contacts are going to place your thumbs down. Next up was Melissa Powers. Just like that on both sides here. Melissa's starting weight was 246.4 pounds, a BMI of 41, and her fat percentage, 49.4. Next on the scale, Wes Rescher. Alright, go ahead and step up for me. Wes tipped in at 358.6 pounds, a BMI of 48.6, and his fat percentage is 37.7. As the producer for Fat to Fit, I thought I'd get in on the action just to see how much weight I had to lose. All right, David. 258. And the percentage is... As it turned out, I topped out at 258 pounds, 39.8 BMI, and my body is 33.8% fat. Now we all had our starting weight the before figure. It was time to work it off at Title Boxing Club. Up next on Fat to Fit. I'm kind of lazy, I guess, you know, I need some I need some accountability. So when I signed up for Title Boxing, that's what I, you know, that's what I got. Great workout. It's it, you feel so good afterward. You know you got a ton of energy. Just hitting the bag feels good. They're gonna tell you what to do. You're gonna do it. You're gonna be motivated, and you're gonna feel really good for one hour. Hello everyone. I'm Dr. Dale Brown. With me is my Maximize Living team, and we want you to know that it's our vision to see each and every one of you reach your full potential in health and life. And we believe that can be achieved through implementing the five essentials of Maximize Living. Number one. Maximize your mindset. Number two, maximize nerve supply through a properly aligned spine. Number three, quality nutrition. Number four, lean muscle and oxygen. Number five, minimizing toxicity. So we want you to join the movement that is truly changing healthcare in America. 
Say you don't have health insurance, or maybe you do and the deductibles are too high. Any Lab Test Now's No Insurance, No Problem program is your solution. Any Lab Test Now offers you the health information you need at prices you can afford. No appointment or referral is necessary. You can test anonymously. Your results are confidential, and most are provided in 24 to 48 hours. No insurance, no problem. You can count on any lab test now. The obesity epidemic affects more and more people every day. The time for change is now. It was a big first day for Fat to Fit contestants, but now it was time for the rubber to hit the road and for the gloves to hit the bag. The trainers at Title Boxing Club were ready to get started, and they were ready to kick us in the rear to get us moving along from Fat to Fit. The warm-up at Title Boxing Club starts off hard and does not let go. Whether we like it or not, we are going to move a lot. What makes this kind of workout work is that there's never a dull moment. There's always some part of your body that's moving with deliberate intensity. Each exercise lasts only a few seconds or up to a minute. By the time you've recovered from the last one, the next one takes it up a notch. Every title boxing club power hour class is led by a trainer that guides everyone through all of their workouts. Tonight, that trainer is Jermaine Adams. Work that body, Teddy, work that body. Let's go all day, all day. Yeah, yeah. All day, let's go, let's go, let's go. You go the bag, Teddy, you go the bag, Teddy. Put the bag on the bag, we're gonna work 10 more seconds. My philosophy is what you bring to the table. I mean, you got to put in what you want to get out of it. All right, you got to if you want if you want results, you got to put you got to put hard work in, and, and that's my philosophy. If whatever you want, you can you can achieve as long as you put forth the effort. So, is round and appropriate shape for the human body? Uh, round and uh, appropriate shape? No. no. <laughs> You've met a lot of our, our, our uh, contestants here. So, uh, are there any that you really feel inspired to, uh, to talk about how, how you're encouraged by? Because I mean, they're all working hard. I'm encouraged by all of them. I mean, for them to be here is an encouragement. Yeah. If you're here, that means you you want to change. You want a different lifestyle, and I'm, mm -hmm. I'm proud of every single one of them. They all made it through a workout, and if they can make it through a workout, they can change. So how many are you doing? How many are you doing? Here you go. And five, four, three, two, and one. All right. To the people of Clarksville, if you uh, if you want to change, if you if you want a lifestyle change, this is the place to be. We're gonna help you get there. So just trust us and, and believe that, that you can. Because if you can, we can. So it, uh, come in here and let's get a workout. Your, your job not only is to teach the classes, but to also do one-on-one -on -one training, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, and and, and how, do, how, do you, how do you go about doing that? What, what can people do to, to, to train with the great Jay? All you got to do is ask me. Come in here and ask, hey, uh, Trainer Jay, can you, can, you, can you show me how to work out? Or uh -huh. I'm here. I, I do free stuff all the time. People will tell you, I'm not about money. I, have a, I work in the Army, so I don't uh -huh. need money. So yeah, it's, yeah. I'm here for you. So if, you, if you're interested in, in getting fit, getting in shape, getting worked out, come see me. I, I do free sessions. So if you, don't, if you can't afford it, come talk to us. And one, and you're going to switch sides. All right, you're going to touch with your right. Cross with your left. Touch with your right. Cross with your left. Ready? Begin. 
Every minute counts. Every punch counts. Each jab, cross, hook, or uppercut is another step toward getting fit. It's exhausting. It's tiring. But the benefit of a great workout cannot be denied. If you put that much effort into a boxing workout, you're gonna feel a little inspired. Just when you thought it was safe to drop the glove, it's now time to work on the core. First up was the squat. Then you have to hold it. Punching the air sounds easy, but after eight rounds of boxing, it's harder than it looks. Up next, Dr. Dale Brown talks about chiropractic. Zombies with lame sandwiches? This is a job for Freedom Girl. There's only one weapon that can take out this kind of hunger. The smoking gun is boar's head buffalo chicken, hot cappy, melted cheese, chipotle mayo, lettuce, tomato on pretzel bread. This sandwich will hit them where it counts. When you're that hungry, don't go for a sub. Reach for the smoking gun only at Freedom Deli. Freedom! Freedom! Clarkville Fast to Fit is presented by Title Boxing Club. Marathon Chiropractic your maximized living center and proudly sponsored by any lab test now potato bowl freedom deli and lee salon Part of our process for Faster Fit is to take full advantage of the Maximized Living Program at Marathon Chiropractic. 
Dr. Dale Brown frequently conducts seminars to help patients understand the benefits of chiropractic and healthy living. For them, it's all part of maximized living. Laura Moore, Marathon's office manager, has her own testimony of how chiropractic made a big difference in the quality of her life. I'm in the position that I am, especially here with Dr. Dale. Um, when I was in middle school, I was actually diagnosed with scoliosis. They put me in a brace, which was the worst thing I ever had to wear in my life. And when we moved here, my dad was active duty, and the doctor sat down with me and told me, Laura, you have no other option. You have to have surgery. If you want to have children, if you want to live a long, healthy life, you have to have the surgery. Well, when you're 17 years old and you get a diagnosis like that, you're scared to death. So I had the surgery, so I've got two rods in my back. I have rods from here to here. And after my surgery, the, for a couple weeks after, I would wake up in the middle of the night and I couldn't feel my arms or my legs. I felt the exact way a quadriplegic felt. I would have to holler out in the middle of the night for somebody to come and shake my arms and legs just to hope to get some circulation going. And during this process, I was actually having migraines. My migraines had started from a very young age and they were pretty sporadic and then I started getting them. I would have maybe one a year to two a year and then they were once every month. And then I was getting them to the point where I was having them every day. I was in so much agony with my, my migraines. I actually met Dr. Brown at the point where I, I have kind of lost hope in, med in medical doctors and medications. And so I came in and I sat down where you sat and I was blown away by the amount of information. And so when I started working here, I've gotten off every one of my medications since I've been here. I get maybe one little tension headache every once in a while, but it is nothing like it used to be. I don't get migraines anymore and I'm off every one of my medications. Uh, for one thing, I don't want to be like the typical doctor's office visit, um, where you sit more in the waiting room than you actually do spend time with the doctor. The doctor ultimately walks in and reads through your paperwork, and you know you usually read through it, or she will read through it before they even walk in with you. And because of the symptoms you wrote down, what do you walk out with? So it is our healthcare system. That's what our healthcare system is ultimately based around. It's based around medicine, right? We take 50% of the world's medication, yet we only have 6% of the world's population. And that's our health care system right there, basically. But where are we in terms of health? <laughs> We're near the bottom. We're almost dead last in terms of industrialized nations. I'm a doctor that wants to know that my patients know what's going on with their health, what causes disease, and what we need to do to reverse it. Um, medicine right now in America more or less asks the patient what is going on. They don't ask why. They don't figure out the reasons why and then say, if this is why you're sick, why you have high blood pressure, why you have diabetes, why you're getting cancer. You know what, if we would figure out why, reverse that process, guess what happens to the disease process in the body? It'd be reversed. You would heal, you'd be healthy. But how important is your spine to your health? <laughs> Vital, okay. So how many of you on a daily basis think about taking care of this structure right here? Which in my opinion, God probably uh, said it in one such way. Uh, if it's, it, your spine is protecting your spinal cord and your nervous system. So your <coughs> spine's not the most important organ, that's just bone. But what is most important is the brain and the spinal cord, which runs and controls every single function within the human body. For your heart to beat, your lungs to breathe, for you to digest food. Your brain has to send a signal down the spinal cord over these nerves for those organs to function properly. So when we take a spine, we do this to it. This is the bags of medic. This is the bag of medication my mom was on when she moved here. Um, you know, I personally, uh, you know, long story short, uh, I watched my mom lose her health. Uh, neurosurgeons actually call this. I focus a lot on the neck because the neck is one of the easiest ones to shift out of alignment. Less <coughs> muscles, less stability. But if we take the neck and we shift it out of alignment. You're losing what is called the arc of life. You want to find somebody who's not taking care of their spines, go to a nursing home. What does everybody look like? They're bent over in wheelchairs, they can't move, they're suffering. They're on tons of medications. If you, do you ever see anybody standing like this in good posture walking around a nursing home that's a resident there and now somebody works there? No. Because posture directly affects our longevity, it directly affects every physiological function within the body. Drugs do not cause or correct the underlying cause of a health condition. What they do is mask the symptom. They treat a symptom. They manipulate the physiology. Tune in next week for do. more of this informative, life-changing session. The physiology and the 
Say you don't have health insurance, or maybe you do and the deductibles are too high. Any Lab Test Now's No Insurance, No Problem program is your solution. Any Lab Test Now offers you the health information you need at prices you can afford. No appointment or referral is necessary. You can test anonymously. Your results are confidential, and most are provided in 24 to 48 hours. No insurance? No problem. You can count on any lab test now. I'm kind of lazy, I guess, you know. I need, some, I need some accountability. So when I signed up for title boxing, that's what I, you know, that's what I got. Great workout. It's, it, you feel so good afterward. You know, you got a ton of energy. Just hitting the bag feels good. They're going to tell you what to do. You're going to do it. You're going to be motivated. And you're going to feel really good for one hour. Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Dale Brown. With me is my Maximize Living team. And we want you to know that it's our vision to see each and every one of you reach your full potential in health and life. And we believe that can be achieved through implementing the five essentials of Maximize Living. Number one, Maximize your mindset. Number two, maximize nerve supply through a properly aligned spine. Number three, quality nutrition. Number four, lean muscle and oxygen. Number five, minimizing toxicity. So we want you to join the movement that is truly changing healthcare in America. The obesity epidemic affects more and more people every day. The time for change is now. We had a full week under our belt with Fat to Fit, so it was time to reflect. We stopped by Clarksville famous Dunbar Cave to see how things were going with our contestants. More difficult to, to, to do this yeah, on a day-by-day -day basis, absolutely. living real life. And yeah. Because I think on some of those shows, they probably prepare the meals and have them sitting there for them, and they, maybe they've got a choice. Yeah. And, yeah, I don't get that. I, I had to go to Walmart myself this morning, and I'm standing in the middle of the aisle trying to figure out, do I get this or not this? And what do I get for my family as opposed to what I get for me? Mm -hmm. And what are the kids going to eat? Because everybody's kids are finicky. Sure, sure. So just trying to figure all that out, mm -hmm. uh, that, that's a lot more difficult than you know somebody packaging my food for me. Working both jobs and you know taking the, the Zija that y'all mm -hmm. provided. I mean, just getting on a schedule or a routine mm -hmm. between the chiropractor and the, it's hard. I mean, you you got to buy your own food. Sure. It, ain't, it ain't like, you know, the TV shows. I mean, so far it's been difficult, but mm -hmm. I mean, it'll get easier. I just wanted to say something about our first Thursday night workout with the trainer is a little bit different than going over there by yourself and and uh, being able to work out. And, and when you get a little tired or a little shorter breath, the, mm -hmm to be able to drop your hands and relax for a second as opposed to having a trainer there going, you're losing, Teddy, you're losing, you're losing, you know, give it all you got, you know. Uh, uh, I, I got to tell you, I felt beat and whooped. I was so tired, I left out of there with my, without my stuff Thursday night and didn't think a thing about it. The frustration is just about the scheduling. It's just about trying to give up some more of time that I've spent doing probably non-productive things to do something productive. Mm -hmm. So that's a big change, you know, so. It's easy to change habits when all you have is the new stuff, but when we've got our whole everyday life and now we're having to change those habits in the middle of all of that, I think that's kind of a little bit more difficult, but uh, I, I'm willing to go out on a limb here and say that if we can change our habits in real life, they stay changed. Yeah. Yeah. It's better than going away trying to learn it and then coming back and trying to incorporate everything into your life. You're adjusting it and setting those hours. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You're setting those hours aside now to work out and keep that healthy life rather than going and working out for 10 hours a day every day. And like he said, getting those prepared meals for you, you're learning. And getting to incorporate it into your whole family, they're getting to learn with you and slowly introduce those meals, I'm sure, like I'm having to, too. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I definitely feel like I have more energy than, mm -hmm. than what I did before. And, uh, you know, it's uh, it's all been a good experience. Uh, like some said earlier, the the schedule, you know, getting all your trips in to the 
chiropractor's office to Dr. Dell and and to the workout are going to be a little challenging. Yeah. Progress so far is good. My motivation is still up. Mm -hmm. In the past, I've started something and not finished it. Uh -huh. So far, I've had lots of help with people mm -hmm. at work at Walmart, and then even at you know my other job at the gas station, and mm -hmm. then along with all these contestants. Mm -hmm. We always stay in contact. Have you been doing this? Have you been drinking your water? Mm -hmm. What you've been eating? So so far, it's been real positive. He's, you know. He's starting to get to the eating with me, and mm -hmm. my daughter eats whatever I eat, so she's game. She'll eat her veggies with me and all that. Okay, she actually took my broccoli from me last night. <laughs> I think I'm crazy. I, I sh yeah, I, there's there's uh, some regret a little uh -huh. bit just over the, the hectic the hecticness of it, but at the same time, I know we're going to be better because of it. Uh -huh. My arm feels like it's going to fall off, <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. but other than that, it's they're fine. I think your arm is kind of still there. So yeah, it's, it's still there. Still there. <laughs> I know my stomach still sticks out, but I don't feel like it's poked out like it was, uh -huh. quite like it was, you know, at one time, but... Um, yeah, I've been doing some work at home too, as well. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, doing what kind of things you do at home? Well, I've been doing some power walking. Uh -huh. uh, I, I... To me, I mean, you, you want to win, but I'm here for results for myself, mm -hmm. other than you know competing. Mm -hmm. You know, it ain't you know a two hundred fifty thousand dollar grand prize or anything. Right, right, right. To me, the prize is getting where you want to be. Absolutely. The first day. Um, after the workout, I did have that sweet craving the next morning. Actually, it was the next morning, Friday morning. And um, I got a little 100 calorie, little bitty what are they, the Hershey Nugget Bar. But it was just that sample taste. It wasn't not the big bar, not, mm -hmm. you know, even the regular size candy bar. It was like itty bitty. And you know, just it, some of it looks overwhelming. Um, but I also know that if, if we make this happen, uh, we're going to be so much better um, mm -hmm. in the long run, and I, I can't wait to, to see the other end of this 12 weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not going to say that like one week changed my life, because I certainly don't want anyone to think that one week is going to change our life, but um, I can tell that it's a step towards the right direction. Are you all noticing a difference? Yeah. Next time on so Clarksville, this week I think that fit. I feel exhausted. I think I over exhausted myself to the best of my abilities. I gave everything I had and yesterday I had to sleep for 21 hours to make up for it. <laughs> to the hard. It is, especially when <clears throat> other family members want to eat certain things in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> like um, Amish bakery treats. <clears throat> um, <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't have anybody ordering fries while I'm <laughs> eating a salad in my life at all. The obesity epidemic affects more and more people every day. The time for change is now. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Dale Brown. With me is my Maximize Living team. And we want you to know that it's our vision to see each and every one of you reach your full potential in health and life. And we believe that can be achieved through implementing the five essentials of Maximize Living. Number one, maximize your mindset. Number two, maximize nerve supply through a properly aligned spine. Number three, quality nutrition. Number four, lean muscle and oxygen. Number five, minimizing toxicity. So we want you to join, join the, the movement, movement that is truly changing healthcare in America. Lazy, I guess you know I need some I need some accountability so when I signed up for title boxing that's what I you know that's what I got great workout it's it, you feel so good afterward you know you got a ton of energy just hitting the bag feels good they're gonna tell you what to do you're gonna do it you're gonna be motivated and you're gonna feel really good for one hour <laughs>